So this problem says, the graph of y equals the integral from 0 to x of f of, e, f of t dt, where f is a piecewise constant function, is shown, is shown right here. Now there are a couple things to um, notice about this problem. First of all, we're told something very important about f, that it is a piecewise constant function. So f is a piecewise constant function. And secondly, we're given that f of t, or that y is the, is the integral of f of t, which since y is equal to the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt, that tells us by the fundamental theorem of calculus that dy dx will be equal to f of x by the fundamental theorem of calculus 1, part 1. Now, Using those two facts, we can figure some things out about our function. Okay. Now this graph is the graph of, of y equals the integral from 0 to x to f of t dt. The, by taking the derivative, that tells us something about the slopes of these lines. And since the function is piecewise constant, that tells us exactly what the values of the function are. So in other words, we get that f of x is going to be equal to a bunch of different constants. It'll be equal to one, some constant a1 on the, the, the interval 0 to 1 because that's one slope value and then it changes once x gets to 1. So that means it'll be a different value, the function will be a different value on 1 to 2 because I have another change in the slope of those lines. It'll have a different value on 2 to 3, another one on 3 to 4, the fifth one on 4 to 5, and then another value, a 6, on 5 to 6. And just to be consistent, I'm just going to circle all these places where the slopes of the line changes. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different values that this function takes on. And it's constant except where it changes because it, it is a piecewise constant function. Now we can say even more. We can say even more. Notice that the function from 0 to 1, the function is increasing, which tells us that its derivative has to be positive. So since, again, the graph is um, y equals the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt, the derivative will be f of x. So since the function is increasing from 0 to 1, the derivative will be, will be positive. It's decreasing from 0 to 2 and from 2 to 3. So the function will be negative on those two intervals. Then from 3 to 4, the function is, is increasing. So the derivative is positive. Then here, these, these, the function is flat here, which tells us that the, the derivative will be 0 there. And then the graph of this starts decreasing again from 5 to 6. And so this is going to be less than 0 from 5 to 6. So now we can figure out on which intervals the function f is positive and over which intervals is it negative and which one it's 0. Well, it's precisely these ones that I have written down. Um, so it's going to be positive on this in interval, negative, negative, positive, 0, and negative. And again, we can get that just by looking um, whether the function is increasing or, or, or decreasing. Now, the next um, problem I want to answer says, what are the minimum and maximum values of f? Well, let's, let's grab a hold of this and put another copy of it right here so I can refer to it a little bit easier. What are the minimum and maximum values? All right, well, um, we need to find out what all the values are. 
uh, in order to answer this question. Since it is piecewise constant, okay, all we have to do um, is look at these places where it changes again, where the slopes change. The function is piecewise constant, and we're again using the fact that dy dx is equal to f of x. So all we have to do is look at the slope lines. Okay. So um, using what the, the notation above, this would be a1, a2, a3, a4, these are the slopes, a5, a6. Well, a1 is just equal to, and I'm just using these points, and I'm just finding um, the slopes of, of these lines. So a1 would be 3 minus 0 over 1 minus 0, or 3. a2 would be 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 1, which is negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. a3 is 0 minus 2 over 3 minus 2, which is negative 2. A4 is 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 0, or 3 fourths. A5 is 3 minus 3 over 5 minus 4, which is 0. And A6 is 2 minus 3 over 6 minus 5, which is negative 1. And now looking at all the different values, again, the function is piecewise constant. So these are all the values that it can take on. Um, that means that this is the maximum value, and this is the minimum value. And then the last question says, what is the average value of f? Well, remember that the average value is going to be given by, we're, we're going from 0 to 6. It's 1 over 6 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 6 of f of t dt. But this function is piecewise constant. So this works out to be 1, 6, um, the function y evaluated at 6 minus 1, 6 times 0, which gives us um, two-thirds because y of 6 is equal to 2. Excuse me, that's going to be 2 over 6 minus 0, which reduces to one-third. And so that is the average value of the function.